I want to wish a fantastic day to everyone, one and all, wherever you are in the world. Thanks for tuning in for a little bit more of Dr. Fantastic's advice. My motivational quote today was on freedom. I quoted Abraham Lincoln and myself because uh, freedom is what we want. And uh, you've got to be careful for what you wish for. Uh, I did a, an episode uh, last week, I think it was, on um, fame and fortune. Be careful what you wish for. I know a lot of celebrities. I know a lot of very wealthy people. And um, when you have extreme wealth, you'd be surprised. You lose your freedom. Uh, the billionaires and the celebrities hold up in their homes with their tight little circle protecting them. They can't go out in public. They don't have the freedom to go to a bar and, or go to a local restaurant without being harassed. You lose your freedom with a lot of wealth. So be careful what you, what you ask for. <clears throat> to be free is to, to go your own path, do what you want to do. And uh, it's probably the best thing you could ask for in life is to be free. Uh, when you have a relationship, you're not exactly free, but it's great to be in love and have a family, which I did. I'm very proud of the sons I raised, but it limits your freedom, you know. My son, when he was having his first kid, said, oh, we can still go out in the bars and have fun <laughs> with his wife. And I said, eh, not really. I mean, you shouldn't. Too many parents uh, have nannies and send their kids off to camp and what have you. And I think the best thing you could do in life is to be a fantastic parent. And it's giving a lot of yourself. And that limits your freedom. Uh, when you do have money, you're free to fly, of course. But you have so many. Like I was watching um, J. Paul Giddy's biography, documentary, movie, whatever you want to call it. And uh, that poor guy, he was the, not only the richest guy in the world. He was the richest guy that ever was in the world. And I've been to his museum in Malibu and the one on, on top of Mulholland Drive. <clears throat> and um, he was a piece of shit. I mean, he was not a human being. All he cared about was things. And, you know, you go through life, you, as I have, you get you accumulate a lot of things. Five years ago, I gave up all my things and decided to live a life of freedom. I'm very free now to go wherever I want, do whatever I want to do. On a very small budget, I might add. But I'm um, here in Antigua, and the, the cost of living is very low. And I'm meeting people every day from around the world and introducing them to the... the um, uh, be fantastic philosophy, which now has turned into a, a revolution, the kindness revolution. I, I think that's got a nice ring to it. You know, it's, it's image is everything, as they say. And um, to have a revolution to make the world a better place and to make your life better, I think it's not a bad revolution. It's, it's certainly a peaceful revolution. At any rate, uh, so getting to freedom. And also, well, I was going to do another one on um, there are no takeovers in life, only in third grade. And we wish we could do a lot of takeovers. There are many people rotting in prison for doing a text and getting in an accident and killing someone. The silly things that we would always take over. And, of course, they, their freedom is very limited because they're in jail. And they're regretting uh, what they did. If, even if you live a life full of regrets, you have a very sad life. Um, many people don't get the value of a day until they're either 50 or retired. And then they, they look back and they say, God, I wish I hadn't done that. I wish I'd done this. Um, because they, they got themselves into a situation where they had to make money. And people are chasing money all day long. They're chasing money. And when you can get to a spot in life where you're not chasing money, life is pretty fulfilling. It's pretty full. Um, I can go wherever I want in, in the city now and do whatever I want. I can sit here all day long and watch my garden grow. Um, but I, I'm a philosopher, so I like to philosophize. Sitting in this garden, I come up with philosophies on life. And um, I want to share my life with my audience, the people that are taking the time to watch this. And if you watch all 2,100 videos, <laughs> you will have learned a lot from my mistakes, from what I've learned in life. And it's, it's full of advice. It's full of positive advice. You know, um, regrets. Of course, we all have regrets. One of the regrets was I wish I took care of my teeth better as a child. 
I didn't have much guidance having three sets of parents, but um, it's what I can blame it on them. And I hate the word blame, by the way. But um, you, you, getting back to freedom, um, you know, I, I, I ramble because these videos, as you might know, are one take wonders, never rehearsal, uh, and just a, a thought. I come up with a thought, I try to express it to you, and hopefully you understand it, and hopefully you, you flow with it and learn from it because you got to be careful for what you wish for. I'm, uh, I'm wishing for a kinder world, but if this goes viral ever, I'm going to be extremely busy and maybe I'll love it. And maybe I'll say, ah, I wish I would just kept it at 8,000 people you know, or 9,000 now, um, which I'm very happy to know that I'm helping a lot of people. And uh, so freedom, getting back to freedom. Um, you, uh, let me think. Well, I, I actually like that um, the subject of um, uh, you, 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 um, mistakes. You know, we make a lot of mistakes in life and we have those regrets. It, uh, the, the big saying is, I wish I knew then what I knew, what I know now. And if you watch these videos, you can get a jump start. You know, if you know what I know, and, and a lot of it's in these videos, you'll have a, a, a jump on life. Using the word fantastic is, is, is gonna help you out in business and in relationships. It's, a, it's an amazing word. It's powerful, words matter, you know. Uh, truly believe um, we uh, aren't gonna use words in the future. We're gonna use telepathy. Aliens use telepathy. So anyway, um, freedom, what else is free? Um, they say nothing's free in life. Uh, my advice is free and unfortunately that's, people don't take it because there's most people don't respect free there's no they don't see an inherent value um someone gives you a free car you know you go out and you, you wreck it like these rich kids do earn the money for the car and you're gonna wash it you're gonna wax it you take care of it but uh free uh spoiling kids is bad um you're getting things for free you want to earn them you know um for five years uh, i've been working on this philosophy and this revolution now and uh oh i think i got distracted here <laughs> the music in the background there's a, a school next to me and um they have a big loudspeaker and a lot of fun because they're cheering and hooping and hollering all day long and it doesn't bother me it bothers my neighbor but you can't let anything bother you don't let me bother you don't let the weather bother you life bother you relationships money traffic don't let anything bother you um, flow, flow in, in your life. Know everything's going to work out fine. And that, that's a free, that's a freedom you get. When you're stuck to a timetable and you're afraid you're going to miss the bus or the plane or the event, that's limiting. It's not freedom. You know that you're going to be there on time. Know it's going to work out. You miss the plane, it's not the end of the world, you know? Uh, so, um, again, I, don't, I didn't rehearse this and didn't practice it, but I just think freedom is something that, uh, you know, um, I mean, obviously they had slavery, and that was very, that was horrible, horrific, uh, to, to take a human being. They still have slavery. And uh, these girls that are in slave, um, sex slaves, they, they, they have no freedom. Uh, women who get into a relationship and it doesn't work out, and they don't, they don't have uh, an education or um, a career, they're not free, that they're stuck. And it's a shame that these things happen. There's a lot of bad things happening in the world. I don't like to talk about them, but um, you know, we wanna be free. Uh, and if you can get yourself free from uh, horrible situations, free from the constraint of money, because gosh, money is the root of all evil. It really is the destroyer of relationships. You know, I mean, what do they say? 70% of the people that win the lottery regret it. Um, you, you think that you, you, with a lot of money you're going to get freedom, but you know, because you, you, you have a lot of responsibilities, people relying on you. You can't just, not, uh, as a movie star, you can't just do the next, not do the next movie because your agent, your manager, your publicist, your, your, your fans, they all want you uh, to keep doing what you're doing. So you're not free, you know? Uh, and then the president, uh, he's certainly not free to do what he wants to do. Um, World leaders are not free to do what they want to do. Uh, and wealthy people are not free to. So freedom is probably the best thing you can have ask for in life. You know, freedom from disease. If you take care of your body, which is 
commitment number one, be kind to yourself. Um, you know, if you have the right mineral balance, you'll never get sick ever. But very few of us have the right mineral balance. Um, so you want to get the right mineral balance uh, in your life. And you want to be free. Free to watch this, free not to watch this, uh, free to be an ambassador of kindness, free not to be one. But um, be kind is, 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 a, is a solution to, to freedom. If everyone was kind, we'd have a lot of freedom, I guess. Anyway, I'm starting to ramble now. Thanks for your time. <laughs> have a fantastic day. Uh, please like, subscribe, and share because sharing is caring and caring is kindness, and we need more kindness in the world. Thanks for watching. Uh, uh, talk to you soon. I used to do these every single day, um, many times during the last five years. The first 500 days on the road, um, the first year in Egypt, um, and you know I, I like this. I like to mix it up, but it's, uh, I think I'm getting some nice responses from this. Uh, people like me to give a little advice each day. Uh, get, uh, follow me on uh, Instagram. The number two, the letter B, fantastic, because every day you're going to get a quote there. Or if you're one of our, in, in one of our hundreds of WhatsApp groups, you'll get a quote. And become an admin. Get involved. Uh, share uh, the philosophy and uh, what we're doing with your community. And become a director. You know, after you're an admin and you get really excited about this, you become a director of your country and you get all your cities in your country to, to um, get admin groups. Because my goal is to have um, 10,000 admin, one in every city on, on the planet. That's how many there are, and spreading kindness. It's a little work, not much. Uh, and I think you'll enjoy it if you become involved. Have a fantastic day. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. And we am spin it around so you can see the, the nice view of uh, the garden again. Eco art, my beautiful sunflowers, lots of pumpkin uh, blossoms happening. The bees are in force. They're going to pollinate, and hopefully I'll have a pumpkin eventually. There's my art uh, ivy project. Some of my uh, painted rocks, eco art. It's great. Plant a garden. Be kind to Mother Nature. Be kind, be kind, be kind. That's the message. Bye-bye.